going to create a design custom size. It's going to be 44 by 36 and create that design. Now bring in, you're gonna upload the design that you want to um, do your all over shirt for. So we're just gonna head over to uploads and this is what we wanna do. And we're gonna make it bigger. This person, uh, this is the size. So then we're gonna duplicate this one more time just so that it fills the whole page. Now I'm gonna go a little bit closer in because I wanna make sure that when I duplicate it that there's no white right there and there's not. Well, there's a slight little line. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click on the bottom one, click on the bottom or top. I clicked on the bottom one and I'm just gonna hit my up arrow a couple of times so that it covers that gap. So now there's no white showing. Now I'm gonna also upload again. And now this is, my template for all over shirts that just is going to make this a shirt template so i'm just going to make that the size of the canvas so that should be 44 by 36. <clears throat> now that that's completed um that is all i have to do in canva i'm going to share download i'm going to move this to three because i like to do as max quality and i'm going to download it out I'm going to open Adobe Acrobat and I'm going to do menu, open, and instead of Adobe PDF files, I'm going to say all files and I'm going to open up the last picture file that we have and I'm going to click open. Now that it's opened up, I know that it's 44 by 36, I'm going to go to menu and print. I'm gonna choose my printer. My printer happens to be the Epson F570. So I'm gonna go to properties. Now I'm gonna go custom paper size. I'm going to do my max width, which is 24, and I'm going to do the height of 36. This height is the same height as my all over print image. I'm gonna select OK. And then I'm gonna go back to settings, change my paper size to user defined, and I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna use the same settings that I normally would when I'm printing. So everything looks good here. I'm gonna say okay. So now I'm going to say poster. So now I'm gonna select it be to poster. And as you can see right there, it says 48 by 72, and it will be four pages printed. So those four pages would be 24 by 36 all the way through. But I know that it should only be about two pages. So we want this to go a little bit different. So I'm going to scale my tile scale. I'm going to scale that down. So let's go to like 75% and see if that fixes it. So now I see that it's 48 by 36, which is what I need it to be. But if you see that there's still a lot of white space and I know that it should fill the page pretty good. So I'm going to go back to my tile scale and let's do 90% and see if that makes it bigger, makes it pretty good. It still looks like I have a little bit more white space that I could go through. So I'm going to say 95%. I want it to be as much to fill the page as much as possible without it going to four pages. So let's do 98% because if you do remember, 100% makes it to be four pages. So I wanted to keep it at the two page mark. See, the 100% page is just a four. Let's say 99%. Bam. So we'll do 99%. Now this overlap, we can do a little bit of overlap and say 0 .0, 0 0.05 and that'll give you a little bit of overlap for when you print your project. Now that that's complete, all you have to do is say print. My computer, my printing settings always goes to print 
preview first so it will pop up as a print preview I like to do this to ensure that what I'm printing is correct at least give me that final look my print preview looks pretty good so this would be the first page here and then the second page here and I can see how it would print and then I'll just hit print and that is it